Okay, so with that, you get to see a little bit of what's gonna happen in the actual game. And, well, here's the main stuff, but that just was kind of like the plot. But it's gonna have an impact on what's gonna happen. Anyway, yeah, this is Pokemon Black version, and that's Reshiram who we're gonna get in this version. Which, I prefer Zekrom so much more. And by the way, if this video looks a little different to the later on part of the walkthrough, it's because I haven't recorded a DS um, video in for a year, so I might have the settings a little weird, but just bear with me. Hi there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Judy, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. It's in her name, <laughs> come on! Professor Juniper. Professor Juniper and she's gonna be chilling in the library. I mean, it kinda makes sense, but anyway. Yeah. That's right! This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers, they come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We can uh, compliment each other. Um, we help each other out. I skipped it too fast. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that's why I researched Pokemon. Yeah, just saying, this text is going to be really slow for you, so holding down A will speed up the text. But make sure you don't press A again, or like keep it, you think down on it for too long, or it'll, it'll skip the text like it did earlier. But anyway, well that's enough from me, you can you tell me about yourself? Yes, she's going to ask if you're a boy or a girl, like she clearly can't see me, like I'm right in front of her. But anyway, yeah, my name is Jamie, and just know that throughout this walkthrough, I'm going to be saying bottom screen and top screen. So the top screen is the left screen, and the bottom screen is the right screen. So I'll just keep that in mind. But yeah. This is Cheren. He's the Pokemon trainer that's going to be more of a rival for us. He's going to be harder to take down. And here's Bianca. A lot easier to take down, but also your friend. He's a rival. Jamie, the moment you chose the Pokemon that will accompany you for your journey, your story will truly begin. Truly, your journey. Uh, you will. During your journey, you will meet many po Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. Let me help you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right. Be friendly people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That's the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit all the Pokemon. So yeah, depending on what time it is in the year for you playing this. For me, it's summer. Literally, this was the last day of school for me today. So, yeah. Summertime has started. And I am hyped. I'm pumped for this. So, yeah. Juniper has run into our house and left. She's left us a little bit of gift. As you can see, Jamie, and for Professor Juniper, we can have Pokemon. What's keeping Bianca? Hmm. Am I a little late again? Sorry! Help <laughs> you! Bianca, no for 10 years and you have no sense of time, but seriously, this day we can get a Pokemon for Professor Juniper. I know, sorry Jamie, sorry Jerry. So where are the Pokemon? They're delivered to Jamie's house, so Jamie gets the first pick. Naturally. Welcome to our wedding for us inside that gift box. Okay Jamie, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I'll meet the Pokemon right now. So if you try and walk down the stairs, Cheren's gonna stop you, so you're forced to pick a Pokemon. I mean, it's called Pokemon for a reason. I'm pretty sure you picked up the game to play with Pokemon and do all that stuff, but anyway. I brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely, enjoy your Pokemon. From Professor Juniper. Let's go, we're gonna open the gift box. And we are going to pick. So, first up is Snivy, the grass type Pokemon. And this Pokemon, He's pretty balanced all around, mainly focusing his defense, special defense and speed, very fast. The fastest out of most of the game, honestly. Fully evolved, this thing's gonna outspeed most things you're gonna be going up against. Pretty good. Um, one of the best grass types in this game, not gonna lie. If not the best. Um, so next up is Tepi. When that fully evolves, it's gonna have a lot of HP attack and special attack, and the rest are gonna be pretty balanced. But yeah. It's going to evolve into a firefighting, and the other two don't gain a type in this game. So, Tepix is going to have a big advantage for you over the other typings. You know, with it having an extra type. And it's the final firefighting type to this day. 
We don't know what score, score bunny is uh, going to fully evolve into, but it has a high chance of being fighting by the look of it. But anyway, next up is Oshawott. Uh, this Pokemon kind of focuses in the same stats as um, Tepig, except not as good as what Tepig, um, you know, has its strengths as. But Tepig's weaknesses, Oshawott does better. But anyway, enough of the slow music. This will be one of the main parts of the game where that will actually kind of be laggy. But yeah, there we go. We're going to choose Tepig. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon, that's yours! That, that was not her voice. Anyway, yeah, Sharon's going to pick the Pokemon that you're weak against, and Bianca is going to choose the Pokemon that you're strong against. So yeah, as you can tell, smart people, you know, are known to have glasses, and Sharon is known to say, Sharon. Exception. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Here we go. So, this first battle is going to be kind of equal, not gonna lie. As your Pokemon don't have the, you know, same type of attacking moves until like level 7, 8, 9. So, yeah. That's kind of why Tepi can't just destroy the Snivy right now with an Ember. But honestly, just. Spam attacks. And yes, there are reasons that I pick Pokemon Black over Pokemon White. Although I like Zekrom a lot more than Reshiram, I like the places in Pokemon Black a lot more than I do in White. So most places will be the same, but there's two areas that will differ between versions, and both of them look so much better in Black. With the music, with the whole aesthetics, it, it looks great. But anyway. One more tackle should hopefully do the job, and that's going to do a lot to us, so please finish it. Yes. If that didn't finish it, we would have probably found it. So there we go. Pokemon on both sides did their best. Correct. And look, just from that battle, all we were doing was tackling and using the layer and all that. And look, there are footprints on the walls. The plant part is knocked over. The TV is turned, our Wii is looking fresh, and so is our PC. I respect that they're looking good, but look, you messed up the carpet, you messed up the bed, come on, Bianca. Wow, uh, Jamie, uh, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell, no doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Oh my god. Whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing, it's a little bit so strong. I'm so glad that I can have a Pokemon. Oh. Sorry, your room, Jamie. You are completely helpless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Yeah, so Jamie's gonna heal our Pokemon. Which means he's up next. So, yeah. Jamie was ref refing the last fight, even though it makes no difference. Um, and Bianca's gonna ref, uh, ref this one, which also makes no difference without if there's a ref or not. We do not need refs in this game. You, you have them in the anime. But, that's the anime. <laughs> this is the games. So yes. The games and the anime are a lot different. As you say, where's Ash Ketchum? Oh yeah, <laughs> he's in the anime. But <laughs> anyway, what always kind of annoyed me was after taking down Bianca, look how close your XP is. It's actually one experience point off leveling up. I understand why they've done this. So that when you fight Charon, you're not just going to be mad overpowered, you know, one level higher. You're going to have more stats than him everywhere. So, it makes sense. But, come on. Like, that's kind of annoying that they've literally made it one experience point on. But, anyway. Yes, there we go. I should one goes down, and that's going to be it. Level 6. Honestly, you, you're going to want to win those battles, as it's going to put you in a big lead. Um, for the first couple trainers in the game. But yeah, no matter if you win or lose those battles, you're still going to continue on with the game anyway, and all the room, the room's just going to be in the same state as it is somehow. But anyway, I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I'd better come too. Yeah, you better. She is gonna get the sandal on you, Bianca. You just wait and see. 
I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, uh, we can clean up. Clean up, no worries. I'll take care of you later, Mom. There are footsteps on the wall. Kick Bianca in the face. <laughs> anyway, you shouldn't be on your way to meet. You should. Like, you shouldn't be on your way to meet Professor Juniper. Oh, she was actually quite kind of retarded question anyway. <laughs> yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. We're waiting for another Pokemon research lab, Jamie. Alrighty, so with that, before we go in over to the lab, yes, Chairman's gonna be waiting, but our mom wants to talk to us, and also, Bianca's got a little thing we're gonna have to do there. But anyway, our mom's gonna be talking to us, and she's kinda just like, I'm gonna heal your Pokemon, which is like, thanks. I mean, your mom is literally like the Pokemon center of this town. But for only us, Terran and Bianca can go get healed by their parents. Yeah, that's the extra receiver that we've just received. Which will allow you to make occasional phone calls just for mini cutscenes around the place. But also, depending on the time of, you know, yeah, you're playing. If you're playing in winter, it's going to be all snowy. Autumn, it's going to be like orange grass and all that. Yes, because I'm playing summer, which is probably the best time for me to be playing this. Not going to lie. The grass is going to look all luscious and green, the dirt looks all nice and polished. This just looks great. Like, I love this. But yeah, I find it funny as well that it doesn't say, like, Cheren's mom's house, like, Cheren's mom's name or anything like that. It literally says Cheren's house, Bianca's house, and Jamie's house. <laughs> like, wow, I guess we pay all the bills around here now. No, no, a thousand times no! But I'm a good trainer, good Pokemon and everything. I could totally go on an adventure. I'll meet you at the lab. Yep, as you can see, Bianca's dad is not happy. And if you go over and actually talk to him, he'll say that he's literally fuming. Like, <laughs> he must have had a very bad experience when he was younger. Like, a purline scratched him on the toe or something. Like, a lily pup tackled his toe and stubbed it. I don't know. But anyway, listen to this banging music. <laughs> Anyway, hi there, I've been waiting for your young people. Let me introduce myself. My name is it's Juniper. We know your name. Come, come, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today's a day to remember always. So it's best to behave with some formality. So, yes, wouldn't you be annoyed if you were kind of explaining stuff to kids and that one smart kid, that one smart ass, just thought you knew everything and kind of kept cutting you off? But yes, if you didn't know, I like to nickname my team and all the Pokemon on that team in my walkthroughs to give it a bit more personality and everything to make things less boring. So I was gonna call it Pam if it was a female, but this one's a male, so I'm probably gonna name it off of a volcano. But what volcano do I name it off of? Honestly, I was gonna call it Tambora, but that'd kind of be copying Leroy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna go with Fuji because we make Fuji in Japan. So there we go. Fuji. And no, a little pig, a little fire pig will not evolve into a volcano. It's just, you know, they both have fire, lava, and everything. So, you know, it kind of just, I like it. <laughs> so yeah, Fuji is its name. That's why I gave all of you Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? See, there he goes again, being a smart ass. Oh my god, astonishing chip. How do you know this? Uh, out of my research, bitch. Now come and I get my Pokemon. Oh, 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 Jesus. Anyway. Yes, we're going to accept the Pokedex. Now, this will record data on all the Pokemon that we catch. Now, so far we've saw all three, Snivy, Oshawott, and Tepig. Now, if we go into the Pokedex, we'll only get information on Tepig, as it's the only Pokemon that we own. So, yeah. If you want to catch them all... And see all well. If you, if you want to see all the data on all the Pokémon in the region, you gotta cast them all, which is very hard, but not the hardest game to do it in. Hardest would probably be Sinnoh, because a lot of the Pokémon you gotta go back to Kanto to go and get. So, and it's kind of hard doing that from DS. Actually, it might be the more recent games. Like, probably the more recent games actually, yeah, because there's more Pokémon. But anyway, yeah, our mom's gonna come in clutch and give us all a town map. Where are their parents giving like me stuff? Like, why is it gonna be our mom? But the only actual normal mom here. I mean, Cheren's family may be nice, but Bianca's no. 
But yes, with that, we are now ready to explore the Unova region and head on to Route 1, which I'm going to be going to do next episode. I want, I want to join this episode a little less. Here we go. Here's our team. Here is Fuji, the Tepig, and if you actually tap them, they'll actually like flip over. So you'll be able to see their backs bright, just like that, and that's how they'll be looking in battle. But anyway, yes, if you enjoyed, let me know. And there's his moves, there's his stats. This is what I like about showing both screens, which I didn't used to do. But yes, next time we'll be heading on to Route 1 and starting off our adventure for realsies. <laughs> so yes, see you next time. Goodbye.